everybody doing? Charlie Chill is not lying one bit at all. Please, everybody, listen loud and clear. Tyndall had come to my house and already he was uh, making threats and everything. He even said he had a special surprise for me. Tyndall, Tyndall and Isaac are doing nothing but lies. As Tina Deeringer had even lied. They had literally blackmailed AGP's family a big time. They did not care or anything at all. They were going to take down AGP's family. They used uh, Jennifer's or as an excuse over and over. Jennifer's kids was not out to hurt me, me or anything at all. Tina D and uh, all of them were forming a group to end up hurting people left and right. I right, Tyndall literally made up lies left and right. He stalked me left and right. Right, um, Haggy Rance has a high criminal cool. I will explain right off the bat. There was a girl that was disability. Her name is Kamisha. Kamisha literally was hanging out with a gentleman that name is Dark Zero. Dark Zero literally blasted out a uh, Kamisha's picture everywhere known as Justin Stewart he is a disabled person and and he literally blasted a picture out everywhere there that's one governor governor eight the governor 84320 had literally sit there and blasted out a lady's uh, picture out everywhere him and dark zero I mean him and Daniel Vineyard 666 and also Green Dream. They literally went around and did whatever they could to hurt um, this girl. Now she is no longer on YouTube anywhere at all. Oh, they also attacked her and also Green Dream called her a hypocritical liar. These people do love the w women abuse, so does Isaac. Nikki Folofsky had to record, uh, had nothing but the proof of everything and what they have done to her to her left and right in the middle but Nikki Falafel had got tired of everything and had stood down down right away hey this is not Nikki Falafel's fault at all she's tired of the people that are uh, blackmailing Charlie Chill left and right and doing anything in the middle to, basically she needed to just get it dropped in that was it Nikki Falafel did get fired Isaac did record Nikki Falafel in the took it to the called her boss literally sit there and talk to the boss and then told the boss that she literally had shown her badge at the job that was totally wrong they shouldn't have had anything to do with it jennifer charlie chill's sister lied and sit there and said that nikki philosophic had grabbed her burns and put some salt that never happened one bit at all Nikki Falafel did not sit there and put her hand on Jennifer at all. Nikki Falafel was talking to Jennifer and Jennifer ended up blocking Nikki Falafel because of the fact of they're, they're doing that. They wouldn't quit the stuff or anything at all. Nikki Falafel, however, forget, was forgiven and Jennifer and to stop and everything, but she refused that. At TCB has a PayPal account. TCB was blackmailing uh, people like Pickle Boy and stuff like that. Uh, Isaac Isaac had sit there and literally had called uh, Pickle Boy's whole family a bitch. Isaac literally was attacking the attacking that whole family and did whatever he could do to blackmail Mel Charlie Chill and his family. A Char Pickle Boy went and acted like he literally uh, had to hit Char uh, Bridget. And everything that shit never really happened at all. You could see the face of the makeup and everything. Pickle Boy, Pickle Boy told everybody that it was a skit, but reality it was not a skit or anything. Pickle Boy was getting blackmailed by Isaac and Christopher. There was a lot of things that was going on uh, with AGP's family that wasn't right. Isaac was trying to tear up that whole family for no reason. Isaac literally is a big bully on the internet, and so is Haggy Rance. Haggy Rance actually bowed down to Isaac, like a little coward that he really is. I Pickle Boy and Isaac only uh, can I say that Pickle Boy has not ever attacked me one bit at all. Pickle Boy refused to attack me in any shape and form, and would not do that at all. Oh, Isaac did whatever he wanted to do. Channel One sold 
owed most of the uh, things to Isaac, all the videos and stuff like that. Some other people had sold some things to Isaac or just gave it to him because of the fact that they hate my guts. Isaac literally had silenced. Isaac had literally silenced Savage M2016. M2016 was planning on coming to my place with her husband and telling me not to talk about her kids. Her kids are old enough, enough and who really gives a damn. Damn. Her kids are, one's a state trooper, and yes, she's a lesbian. The other one is, uh, has domestic violence on her, him, too. Who, and it is physical harm on a woman. On a woman. Also, Tina D is the one that ended up telling me everything, and Tina D was stirring up more drama. Tina D was asked to stop her things, but she continued to lie over and over and did whatever she could. Just like AG... Uh, just like Papa Grizz 56 has. Papa Grizz 56 had stolen over $825 off of the people. He literally blamed Savage M2016 of literally black uh, hacking into the stuff. No, it wasn't that case. Wheezy and John, John had to sit there and struck it because they felt it, that it was fraud. But it was, didn't even get suspended or anything like that at all. Papa Grizz 56 was doing nothing but lies on Wheezy and Wheezy and John Haggy and continuing. Papa Grizz 56 let a predator talk to his daughter who was 34 years old or, or older. He already talked to a 16 year old and did a little bit of something that he shouldn't have been doing. Papa Grizz 56 went into live stream and that was it, it with the person and didn't say anything or take care of it the way he should have took care of it. I did call the law on Papa Grizz 56 on a live stream to talk to an officer. I also did what was right. I also sit there and called a uh, not the security, but the CPS on them. Papa Grizz 56 was also sitting there saying, saying stuff like uh, his wife was getting mad and everything at him and stuff for all the lies and everything. Papa Grizz 56 was lying right to you all. All he was doing is sitting there uh, trying to attack to me and cause more problems for me left and right in the middle. Papa Grizz 56 is an evil man. He literally sit there and did another uh, GoFundMe account. He literally did another GoFundMe account right away for his medication and everything. Hey, when Papa Grizz 56 went and did his medication for the GoFundMe account, how he really took it down. Papa Grizz 56 is literally still money for Tina D's, well, setting up Tina D's money, money right now as you speak. Papa Grizz 56 is trying to literally get money for uh, Tina's lawyer, which is not even happening because Tina D is literally uh, collecting the money because she already got Social Security and she does side jobs on the uh, side. Tina D's dad also collects money with him and her and everything. Tina D sit there and did whatever she could do to attack me in any shape and form, and I didn't do anything but try to help her. Tina D was mad because she has been doing but nothing but lies over and over and constantly wanting to cause more drama. Tina D sit there and said, see, you have a damn big mouth and everything, and you got that damn right, Tina D, because you're a big damn liar. Tina D did whatever she could do, and she also says that Brick Corner is bigger than anybody up on the internet, and, and Br Brick's Corner also has a domestic violence charge and also has a huge-ass felony charge. Brick's Corner can do whatever he can do to hurt people. Brick's Corner is a big old fake, just like Isaac and everybody else up on the internet. And Daniel Vineyard has a huge-ass record of alcohol, uh, DUI and plenty of other more. He's been in trouble with the law also. The governor has a tendency of calling West Virginia women bitches and everybody else bitches. I call the men bitches because that's what they truly are, are is a damn bitch in my book. And Haggy Rance is one of the biggest bitches that i ever seen on the internet. TCB literally blackmailed people left and right and so did damn uh, Channel One. Channel One did not care how much money or whatever he was. They begged for a PayPal. How to be set up and everything on Charlie Chill's ass. As they wanted to do a photograph shot. Dylan for the wind was involved in it. it big time. Dylan for the wind did not like uh, Charlie Chill or anything like that. That's what was the rumor going on. But when it come to find out it was TCB the whole time. 
TCB got mad at me because I told him to stop the lying and everything, and TCB kept on getting pissed. TCB was the one that uploaded and downloaded on uh, the video. Oh, Haggy Rance literally cussed out a 16-year-old Jeff Tutorial oh, because Jeff Tutorial told me what they were going to be doing. They are trying to find out who was doing the blackmailing on, on, uh, on uh, Pickle Boy. Well, Haggy Rance found out, all right, right, Haggy Rance was the one that was actually going to expose Pickle Boy for the stuff that Pickle Boy was doing. They were accusing Pickle Boy of being a pedophile, and Pickle Boy was not a pedophile one bit at all. Pickle Boy sit there, and yes, he did date, date Bridget West at the age six, uh, at a different age. Yes, Pickle Boy was in the wrong and showing his dick in public. Pickle Boy should have never done that at get go, but everybody wanted to call him a pedophile and to hurt him in any shape and form. Or did whatever he they could do to try to hurt his big old power, just like Isaac did. Pickle Boy is not a pedophile one bit or anything. He just was made a mistake and showed his dick in a movie theater, and he should have never did it. Pickle Boy, however, did get permission by his mo her mom and everything afterwards. Either way, they're both young and stuff, and that doesn't make Pickle Boy a pedophile one bit. Pickle Boy did not literally did not at all so was doing drugs, or neither was Bridget. Uh, they were trying to claim that Doug West was on drugs and all that, and Doug West was not on any drugs at all. Oh, Doug West is cleaner and sober. Tina D tried to accuse Pickle Boy of sitting there and breaking his arm on intentionally. No, what it was is they were wrestling. And Pickle Boy ended up tackled him, and he ended up breaking his arm. Tina D was saying that Pickle Boy was very abusive and everything. No, that he was not. Uh, she sit there and uh, did not one time lay a hand on him. They, then Tina D tried to sit there and say that Pickle Boy took a chain. Ch I mean that AGP took a chain and to the boys, and that never happened either. Tina D tried to sit there and say that AGP sit there and was in a uh, check and stop go. That never went there at all. All Tina D was trying to stir up drama because Tina D was actually giving drugs to AGP's father. Tina D tried to start a lot of problems with Charlie Chill no matter what. What it was is that she was mad that Charlie Chill was coming in the picture and she couldn't stand it at all. Pickle Boy had caught Tina D and given drugs to Tina D end up catching Tina D giving drugs to AGP. Hey, Tina D tried to use a blackmail and so the way her channel could grow and stuff, no matter what. That wasn't the shape or form in any shape at all. Tina D, Tina D, Pick a Boy wasn't having that, the blackmail or anything. But however, you had sit there and grown your channel and the way you grew your channel Oh, you should have never sit there and lied on John Haggy because it wasn't John Haggy that struck you. It was WR1's friend, network friend, Aaron and MER that struck you. You wanted to blame John Haggy for everything and John Haggy was the one that did it. He's just laughing. That's all it was is a joke, but you took it to it things too much seriously. Hey, Tina D, you did whatever you could do to hurt Pickle Boy, and you were trying to form a team like UK Kid. UK Kid it does know how to Photoshop. UK Kid was even trying to get Wheezy and Ghost in trouble with a major lawsuit for something that they have not been doing. Dark Zero is constantly sitting there trying to attack me, and I told everybody, leave him alone, he's disabled. I found out that Chipmunk ain't all there in the head, and I told everybody to leave him alone. Um, Briggs Corner does have a felony charge from what everybody says. Possible chance that he might not have no felony. Means the way these motherfuckers lie on the internet. Right. Okay, is there's anything else that you can figure that I have forgotten or anything like... Oh, Tina D sit there and wanted me to show oh, the landlord slip. That Bridget West is making AGP pay $700 to uh, Bridget West. That is not true or anything at all. Pick a boy had paid for that house. Tina D was the one that sit there and literally said that uh, Bridget West's da uh, daughter, mom, was doing IRS taxes, and I wouldn't say anything at all. Oh, it was Br uh, Tina D was accusing Bridget's mom and doing the taxes, but she told me right off the bat that Pickle Boy has his own accountant. 
uh, the, that was just a skit about the house for uh, for sale. Tina D does have a big mouth. You cannot believe believe anything that she says, but she did give me the story right off the bat. I did not want anything to do with Pickle Boy or anything at all. All I wanted to do was make sure nobody was fucking with Pickle Boy. Pickle Boy was getting a lot of hate. There was a lot of people that was calling Bridget fat ass and all that stuff. Nobody has a right to get called that name at all. People were doing whatever they could to hurt AGP's family. I didn't care for the fact that AGP had sent somebody. Tina D did say that somebody was coming. AGP said, yes, he was coming after me. In fact, he said, F F word. It was on a live. It was actually on a live stream when, when AGP had actually did that. AGP actually did it on a live stream. And one, one, uh, one of the friends had seen it, it right off the bat. AGP was looking at underage girls and stuff like that. Or looking up at pictures and stuff, and he got caught in looking underage girl. It was actually D Dylan. Uh, it was actually. Uh, what can I say? What can I say off the bat? It was actually a young, young uh, kid lady. Her name is. Uh, I forget her name off the bat. If anybody remembers her name, tell me yes or no. Uh, the lady was living in Mississippi, and she was not she was not divorced or anything. She was still married. That is really wrong, which a lot of people already know that. But AGP didn't give a damn or anything at all. Rumors was going around from Keemstar right off the bat that Pop uh, AGP has herpes. We do not know if that's true because it's the internet. I did not pay attention or anything about the diseases or anything. Hey, I like AGP with his attitude. Okay. There was a lot of people doing a lot of dirty stuff, and even Pickle Boy was trying to say it was a skit, but in reality, it was no good skit at all. In reality, everybody just needs to grow the hell up. But I will be coming on more and more and more and more and more and let you guys know here soon. I need to go to bed. That's why my eyes hurt. No, I'm not on drugs like Channel One is. I am sober as could be. And by the way, Raquel, when you got on that airplane, was that sweet, sweet and nice? I've never been out on the airplane at all. Uh, also, Haggy Rents works at a pipeline line as a mechanic at the airport. He makes thirteen fifty an hour. Hour, or he works at the Harrisonburg, PA airport. Yes, Haggy Rance has even gave information about my jobs and everything. And he had little kids do his dirty work, and he did whatever he could do to hurt me. But thirteen fifty an hour, he does not make a million bucks or anything like that. And goddamn, who knows how much money he really makes on the poker table? There is the final for a little while. While I'll go watch. YouTube, please don't bother me. I am actually going to go to sleep because my eyes are really hurting. But thank you and everybody have a blessed day.